Okay, so this is my finished vivarium project for my Chinese water dragon. Um, I just wanted to do a video kind of going over um, how anyone can retrofit just like a basic cabinet, um, especially for a tropical vivarium. There's a little extra work you have to put in um, to hold in humidity and not worry about, obviously, like mold. So the first thing that you definitely need to find is some sort of wooden cabinet. Um, there's a ton on Craigslist, like China cabinets and things like that. Um, but there's some basic criteria you kind of want to look for. So basically, obviously you want glass doors. So this one has um, two very large glass doors. Um, another thing that's really important is the depth of the cabinet because um, you need it to be at least 13, 12 to 13 inches. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to fit an aquarium in the bottom. Um, obviously, if I had made this from scratch, I would have probably made it deeper, like one and a half to two feet deep. But retrofitting a cabinet definitely saves you money. Um, you can see in the description a kind of breakdown of the cost that I went through. Um, you could probably even do this cheaper if you weren't as picky as I was with some of the decorations and things like that. Um, but this cabinet only cost me about uh, $40 on Craigslist. Um, the other criteria that you really need to worry about is that your back needs to be solid real wood. Um, if it's that cardboard crap, obviously you're going to have a hard time doing anything with it. It's going to degrade a lot faster, um, not be able to hold weight of any decorations and things like that you might want to put in. So those are kind of the three most important. Um, another thing that you're going to want to be concerned about, especially if you're having an aquarium in the bottom, is that, let me just pull this drawer out, um, that it has enough support to hold the weight. And as you can see, I had to add um, some support wood in here so it could hold the weight of the aquarium better. Um, I didn't want anything falling through. So, um, but basically, if you can get those three, then you have at least a cabinet that you can work with. Um, I did painting in three basic layers. I did an outdoor latex base paint um, as, as the base, and that's this brown color. Um, if you kind of see down here, which you can't see with the glass doors. If you see down here, I have this um, sort of black layer. That's actually a rubberized uh, spray paint. And I just did that as a sort of a splash guard layer since the aquarium would be down here. Um, so if those are splash water or if it dripped down in the base here um, and pooled, it wouldn't start molding or getting uh, the paint bubbling or anything like that. So I have those two layers. And then on top of that, I have an, um, let's see, it's water shield, safe coat, or safe coat water shield, uh, eco-friendly sort of um, paint and it just kind of went over everything gives it a little extra waterproofness um, and it's also supposed to seal in some of the toxins that might come from the paint um, I will note though that I gave quite a bit of time between each layer of paint um, to dry and then at the end I had my lighting and uh, some of my other stuff running for a while to make sure that the paint was completely cured and some of the fumes had gone off before um, I finished installing anything or put even put the lizard in here so that is something you want to make sure you have lots of time when you're doing this so that um, you can make sure that there's no like fumes still like it's not drying I mean <laughs> so you need you need time for that um, and then the last thing I did and you can kind of see is I silicone to like every nook and cranny and edge so that um, it wouldn't be able to, and no moisture would be able to seep in through um, even those paint layers so that's kind of um, the basics of the shell of the vivarium that you need to worry about um, is sort of making sure it meets requirements, doing all the painting. Um, another thing that you want to do is drill any sort of holes that you have. So um, as you can kind of see, I have these holes, I drilled holes back here with um, circular drill bit for the vents and I had a jigsaw for this top light section. Um, I obviously also have, I had installed this light fixture, so there's a hole for the wiring, um, 
And the reason why I did the heater inside and um, the nightlight and then the UVB on top is just the size um, and how much room it would take up inside of the Varium. But I was also trying to have um, as little like outside like that for humidity to escape. So, um, so far so good. I also have um, obviously this hole back here for the humidifier tube and a hole back here which you can't see too well um, for cords to run out and I actually have it so the cords run from the back in through the back down here and then in through the drawer where my um, sort of power unit is that controls all the timers and stuff. So um, as for lighting, I just have a breeder um, light up here for the heat, and then I have this humidifier. Um, it's a lot cheaper than if you get one of those like frog um, fogger things. Um, I paid maybe I don't know. It was it was really cheap at a thrift store at some point, and um, it holds a lot more water, so that um, helps that you won't have to be refilling it so often, especially with a large vivarium like this. And I, as you can see, I just have a tube that runs down um, into the vivarium. And I have that on a timer to go periodically off. And it's kind of nice because you can control, obviously, even the flow um, of how much fo fog or whatever comes in. So, and as for my aquarium, I just ended up installing a 30-gallon um, long. That's the size that would fit best inside my um, vivarium, depending on what size cabinet you get. Um, you can sh you might have a different size but it is important to make sure that the depth of the cabinet can fit an aquarium which the smallest you're going to be able to find is 12 or 13 inches wide so okay and that is basically um how to get a cabinet to be worthy of being a vivarium um i'll do another video about sort of how i installed all the different direction or um decorations and things like that so and little lizard, he says hi. <laughs>